Hello test takers, welcome back to exam prep solutions and today we have another practice problem here. We're going to be looking at a transportation one involving green shields models for level of service density. Um, in particular, this one we're going to be looking at the maximum flow rate. So the problem states, find the maximum flow rate of the highway given the following uh, parameters. Density for B level of service should be used for optimum density and standard density. And then the speed limit for the highway is going to be 60 miles per hour. Okay, so we've got some information to start here. Let's start working out this problem. What we want to find is the maximum flow rate. And that equals this equation here, uh, the jam density times the theoretical speed selected by the first driver. And that's all over four. And so we need to find some of these other variables here. So now we have standard uh, density which was listed to be for the level of service of B. So we want the max flow rate. So for level of service, we're gonna go with 18 as our uh, density here. So we have 18 DO or density equals, or actually we're going to use 18. We're gonna try and find the jam density and that's going to be divided by two here. So the jam density equals 36. That's the first part that we needed to know. Now we need to find the theoretical speed in order to find that max flow rate. And so the speed with 60 miles per hour is going to equal the theoretical speed minus the theoretical speed once again over the jam density, which was 36 is what we found before. And then we're going to go back here, multiplied by 18, which was that what we determined to be the density um, for this specific roadway. So now we need to find that theoretical speed. So what we're going to do here is that 60 and then of course 18 divided by 36 is 0.5. So theoretical speed minus 0.5 theoretical speed. And so we basically just have the theoretical speed equals 120 here. So we have that as 120. Now we can find the max volume equals the jam density, we found that to be 36 times 120, and then we're gonna divide that entire thing by four, and that equals 1,080 for the flow rate. And so we're gonna be putting B as our answer here. So a lot of steps here, basically find the variables to begin with using the table, and then using these different equations to solve for some of the other variables. So we found the jam density, then we we're able to find the theoretical speed, and then given those two values, we were able to finally find that maximum flow rate in vehicles per hour. So if you have any questions about that problem, leave it in a comment down below. If you'd like to see any other problems worked out on the channel, leave that in a comment as well, but also subscribe to the channel so you can see additional videos covering FE exam topics. And thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.